Tony Storm finally sitting here with me. I feel like we've been trying to get this in the books, trying to get on the same page. And I'm so glad that we waited until we're here in the same room. And now we can just like do this thing. This is way cooler than Zoom. It is so much better than Zoom. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we waited. It's fancy. Um, this is what you deserve. Bolts. Thank you. Matches your necklace. Oh, I know. I didn't even, can you believe it? I didn't even t- intend on this. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm, yeah, I'm doing great. I, I'm in Vegas. You're you know? in Vegas. I'm in Vegas. And uh, I, you know, I mean, I didn't win my match last night. What? That was some bullshit, that was by some the way. bullshit that went down. But um, mm. I'm all good. I'm, I'm keeping it together. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. Is I'm Vegas treating you okay? So far, yeah, I, I keep seeing the pool though. Like from my hotel room, I've got an aerial shot of the whole of the pool yeah. system. <laughs> the whole system. <laughs> the whole thing. And I'm like, haven't been able to get down there yet. And I'm like, oh God, just let me go. It play needs to happen. Water. Yeah. Hopefully maybe today. Hopefully <laughs> I'm thinking so. I I'm, think today uh, might be your day. I think I've got a good feeling about it's it. It's time to go for it. Um, okay, let's talk some wrestling. Talk to me about your debut with AEW. How was that day? That was a trip, wasn't it? That yeah. That was weird. Yeah. Um, I didn't really have much notice going into that. It was kind of a last minute thing. I had no idea what the future had, you know, for yeah. me. I didn't know if I was going to get a job. I don't know if I was going to, I had no idea what was next. And then I get a call last second after my 90 days was up. And I was like, I mean, Okay, you know, <laughs> dust off the old boots. I, I didn't Let's even go. hesitate. I just went, yeah, okay, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> what was like, like what a weird time though. I mean, I know those those ninety days. Um, I didn't. No, I didn't have. I had a actually I had a twelve month non compete. Um, a twelve but, month non compete. Yeah, twelve months. Um, but that's neither here nor there. It's past. Who cares? Oh, Not a yeah. big deal. But. In those 90 days for you, like, what does that feel like to not know what am I going to do? What does the future hold? I mean, just from like my perspective of you, from when I first met you coming and doing the May Young Classic and yeah. there's all this buzz, Tony Storm. <laughs> we all love Tony Storm. This chick is a rock star. She's such a star. <laughs> to you feeling like, I don't know what's next for me. That's yeah. crazy. That was a good time for me during the May Young and yeah. like, you know, I've had some good, I had some good times in WWE and then it was like, it was cool at one point and then it wasn't. Yeah. And then it changed and I yeah. didn't want anything to do with it. <laughs> but, yeah. um, yeah. What went into that? What, like, so, what were some, like when you got yeah. into WWE and you were doing the Mae Young and there, I feel like there was always a lot of steam behind you and a lot of power. Yeah behind you, like seeing you as going to be one of the big stars from going on to NXT UK to, to being champion uh, for NXT UK. What was, when did things change? Um, when I went from NXT to SmackDown, I was like, you know, I mean, my main goal in wrestling was to be on, you know, Raw or SmackDown, main roster, WWE yeah. TV. And then it just, I got there and Figured it out pretty soon. I, I realized like this is just not going to work out. This isn't yeah. the place for me at all. It's uh, and also I'm 26 and I want to have a really good time in this in this job. I want to have a really good career and I and I want to enjoy part mm-hmm. of it. And I just wasn't enjoying it for so long. And I abruptly quit. I didn't even intend. I I, I woke up that morning having no idea that I was going to quit by that Crazy. night. Yeah, I just some uh, I guess something. I, I, you know, a flip switched. Yeah. A switch flipped. Yeah. <laughs> I actually <laughs> heard it right the first time you said it. You're like, like, oh, yeah. Wait. <laughs> uh, it sounded right to me, but it was not. So yeah. you corrected it. <laughs> it was, um, it, yeah, I just uh, snapped out of the blue. And then all of a sudden I was on this 90 days. Yeah. And in, during that time, I, I wasn't expecting to have all this time off. I thought for sure I was going to just continue working there forever. Right. And then all of a sudden this 90 days hits me and I don't know what. I don't know if AEW would have me. I don't know what I'm going to do. But my first thought was probably, oh, maybe I'll go back to Japan. Yeah. Because I, I liked it out there. And yeah. Yeah. For, yeah. And, then, and I, you know, I was going back and forth for a while in my own head of, oh God, do I even want to do this anymore? Because I was so frustrated. As you can imagine, like, it, you know. Yeah. It can be frustrating. And really, uh, it got me pretty down. And then in that 90 days, it was just about figuring out 
like what's next? Yeah. And I went back to Australia because I hadn't been home in two and a half years. Oh, and I, yeah. That's nice. It was good to go back. And I, yeah. I went back for a month and um, like reset. I feel like I getting guess. back to like your roots during a time like that, because it can be, um, you can start to feel really lost when you're not sure what you're doing. Yeah. The creative's not really what you thought it was going to be. This yeah. job that you thought was going to be <laughs> the thing that you love and really wanted to do just wasn't what you thought it was going to be. It can be a real mind. It's weird. I mean, I say it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Like people weren't telling me that it was going to be probably terrible for years. I heard that <laughs> of so many people. So many people yeah. were like, yeah, it's not, like a lot of people don't enjoy it at all. And it can be… It, so like for some people it just works out and for yeah. others it just makes them miserable. And I guess yeah. I just fell into that category. <laughs> I guess it just wasn't for me at yeah. that point. And thank God yeah. you realized it. You realized it pretty oh. early on. Like it's thank not like God. you hung out too long mm. to like really let it get super under your skin. It's cool that you jumped yeah. to that conclusion early enough. I mean, let's face it. They just fire people left, right and center like out of the blue. I'm probably, I could be fired next week. And then it's like, what's the point? Yep. It just yeah. felt very pointless yeah. in the end, to be honest. And it's been hard to convey that to people, especially to fans, especially to people that just aren't in this business and they'll never understand. And I must sound ridiculous to those people, but it, the well, reality of people what to it's understand actually like. That some, because, yeah. yeah, when you don't really know, and I, I know like it's a rough spot to be in because you the last thing anyone wants to do is like sound like they're bitter or they weren't yeah. handed the right cards and blah, blah, blah. It's like, it's, but it's not that. There's exactly. more layers to it than that. I'm, yeah, I'm like not mad about the booking and rah, 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 and I'm like, yeah. no, I don't care. I don't want to, I certainly don't want to bury WWE. I don't want to like say bad things about the place. I think for, I think I had a great time there for, yeah. the, most, for the most part. There were times I have a very great memories being there that I'll cherish forever. And I got to have some great matches. Like I got to, it made me who I am essentially. Yeah. Like yeah. I, I feel like I grew up yeah. with them. I had a very unique relationship. How old were you in New Like 21? Um, I did the, the first May Young Classic. I, I like I worked with them then. And then I did the second one immediately following that NXT UK kind of started. Yeah. So I was from then on more 2018, I was contracted. And then okay. it, eventually I worked my way up to, um, going over to NXT and, and yeah, you know, yeah, I do. I did a few American trips when I was still with NXT UK, and I got to do like the Royal Rumble and Survivor yeah. Series randomly. Yeah. And I got were to, those good yeah. experiences? Yeah, I mean, it, they were crazy. They, were, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. it was like wow, I'm I'm lucky that I got to experience all of this. I got I got to work with some amazing coaches, and mm -hmm. like I, I'm not mad. I'm not. I'm not. Like angry at WWE, I don't have anything against them, and we this wasn't the fit. That you like they probably, uh, you know, I, I, you know, they, I'm, they, I'm sure they got bigger fish to fry <laughs> than me. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, why do they care? People get let go from that place constantly. People move around constantly. It doesn't yeah. matter if I'm there, but what matters is, well, I'm not having a very good time, and I, why shouldn't I be having a good time? What was that day like that you decided? Because you said you woke up and it's not like you had it in your head. Hey, this isn't for me. I'm gonna duck out of here today. What? happened for you to go, I got to go have this conversation. Did you go to Vince or did you go to Johnny? Who'd you talk to? Oh, it was a complicated ordeal. <laughs> <laughs> don't you, you just don't love those? Say. <laughs> you just love a good complicated oh, ordeal. I love it. Um, I mean, I had uh, built up frustrations with the place for a very long time. Um, like a lot of people do. Not, you know, just like the next guy. Everyone seems to have, uh, you know, some kind of… It's a very of, insular world as well. Yeah. Where, And that's the other thing too that I think for other people to understand. It's like when you're in that bubble, you're in that bubble. And yeah. we're all on the same ship. We all understand what the sacrifices are. We understand what the day-to-day -day is like. And it's grueling. I it's a lot. Like they don't give a shit. So why should I? Yeah. This isn't going to work. I know what's going to happen here. I'm just going to be sent back to catering again. It's just not going to… You know, and, and like… It's just not, I'm not gonna succeed here. I can just see it. I've like, I know that I'm. That is crazy though. I know though, they see me like, as I'm such a kid and I'm such a newbie and this, that, and the other. But I, I'd like to think that I've been around wrestling long enough to know like what, like I just know what's right and what's wrong for me and what I like and what I don't like. And I just didn't like well, it. Well, it's also like sort of the, the edict that I'm hearing as well too of like, well, they really want very young talent. Yeah. And to have somebody like you who is young but also has a ton of experience. It does seem a little crazy to me that that for for you to feel that way and, and for them to to not want to like really hold on to you. Yeah, I didn't I didn't feel 
that appreciated a lot. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Like, uh, and I just felt like they didn't at times have very much respect for me. And, and it just was, like, it totally, it, I feel like over time they just kind of crushed my love for wrestling. It just wasn't yeah. even wrestling anymore. You're not even allowed to say wrestling. <laughs> Like, you're not even allowed to, <laughs> yeah. you get given the group texts of, like, you know, don't say professional wrestling in promos and this, that, and the other. And like, oh, yeah. I understand, but like, whatever. I was just sick of it. I was just tired of, what am I doing this for? What, yeah. Do I, am, is, what am I trying to prove to anyone? Will anyone think any differently of me? Really? Do people really care where I go and do fake wrestling moves? <laughs> really? Do people really care that bad that I've got to be miserable day yeah. in, day out? Just because people go, oh, well, that was ungrateful and she shouldn't have done that and blah, blah. Oh, I was unhappy. And why yeah. should I be unhappy? What? Yeah. It's so that I can, like, do WrestleMania. Well, okay, well, that's that's nice and everything, but I'm still going to be miserable the next day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still and Raw's going to roll around or SmackDown's yeah. going to roll and around. I, and- I thought, you know, I thought my whole purpose in life was to go to WWE, but then over time I realized, I just, I'm, I, it's just pro wrestling that I love. It's not a company yeah. that I love. I just yeah. love pro wrestling, what it is. And was it scary when you <laughs> felt like you didn't love wrestling anymore? It was terrifying. It was so sad. I it bet you so that, I mean, sad. I can imagine the like tears shed over, it's like <sighs> losing a love of, I mean, it is, it's losing the love of your life. Yeah, yeah. It was just uh, something that no I- No offense, Juice. <laughs> yeah. Love you, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it was you know something that I once just enjoyed is now just ah, oh, it's a job. It's I wasn't like psyched to go to work anymore. Yeah, like I used to be. I was like that in NXT. I was like it, and quickly it just I was like, this isn't gonna work out because this is yeah the pinnacle right here, and I'm already miserable, and I. It, Quite frankly, I see other people and they're miserable as well. And I don't want to be like them. Yeah. I don't. Well, you no. have control over it to a degree. And luckily you were given that control I that you were given that release. a bit more control over my life because I felt like there was none. Yeah. I, I, it's hard to explain because it's like you got to be in, in. You got to be there to really know. 100%. Actually, in no, Taylor's, that, but you would know. I, no, I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I get it. Oh, you I know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, when what was the feeling when they were like, "Okay, we are going to give you your um, release." Were you um, what were you going through? It was it was okay to be honest. To be completely honest, people probably I don't know hate me for it, but I just wanted to just get them off me. It was like I just it was like I wanted to get the stink off me. I just was done with it. I don't, <laughs> I, I don't mean that in a bad way. You know what yeah. I mean? I just not that I think not no. Nothing bad to them. It was just like, I don't want to be a part of this. Yeah. Like, I don't want, I, I don't know. I went, I, I guess, you know, if anyone asked, Tony Storm quit WWE because she went insane. <laughs> Did I you feel insane. like you were going I insane like during I was going that? going insane. I hadn't yeah. eaten for days. I hadn't slept for days. I was, yeah. and like, I, I, it's not like I was drinking or going out partying and like, I, I was sober like this. I was yeah. like, oh my God, this has got to end. I'm just... You know, yeah. and, and yeah. then I'm I'm looking at, okay, well, I'd never considered a life outside of WWE. I'd never even dreamed of what that would be like because my life was just be in WWE. Yeah. Yep. And, I, that, and that's what it's been like since I was a 10-year-old girl. And it's just been studying WWE. What, what do I have to do to be good enough for them? What have, what have I got to do to be there? What have I got to do to, to, to be the number one person there? And it was just... Oh, and it was just exhausting. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, and you know what? If, if if my life is dependent on being WWE champion, then I'm a mark and that's just lame. <laughs> God, <laughs> like not real. Well, listen, you know? we, don't, we don't have to like dwell God. on this too, too much. And this doesn't need to be like the bulk yeah. of what this interview is. No, no. Um, but know. what was what was that final straw for you when you're like, I got to go. I have to um, go ask for my release right now. I, uh, there was just, it was a very complicated day, but I just, uh, yeah, just all built up, pent up frustration. Um, like they're, they're, I'm not being funny, but it was like, they call you out like a paramedic, like you, you know, you know what I mean. Like you're on call, and like, like some, like I'm not an open heart surgeon, you know. Mm-hmm. This is wrestling. Yeah, you don't need to like 
have full control over every second of my life. Yeah. Like, there just wasn't. And people think I, that I was just burnt out with the hard schedule. And it's like, no, it's not the hard schedule because quite frankly, my indie schedule was ballistic. I never went home. Yeah. I never go home. I, I love, I'm chasing those busy days, you know. Yeah. I'm chasing like working a lot and, and working really hard. I love that, but like not like that, you know. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. Not, not when it's… But, you know. So in that lull of you not being with WWE, not sure what the future was holding, you're falling out of love with professional wrestling. Was it getting that phone call to to go to AEW that that was a thing that reignited your passion for what you do? Yeah, but I, I felt um, like weeks prior to that, during that 90 days, mm-hmm. I was kind of like, <laughs> like I was contacted to do um, Ring of Honor mm. um, for WrestleMania weekend. And that was before. Um, Tony Khan, Paul Ring of Honor. Yeah. So, and, but like when I was contacted about that, I, w- I kind of got my, I was like, the, I, the thought of me wrestling again, I was like, oh, hey, like that. Yeah. I would like to do that. Yeah. Like, I got really excited again and I hadn't felt that in a while. I, I yeah. Yeah. Like something clicked. I was like, oh man, I, I do still love I do. I, of course I do. It's the best job in the world and it shouldn't be misery. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I mean, that was that was something that I always felt when I was there as well. It's like, this should be the most fun job in the world. Yeah. And it becomes so micromanaged and focused on the minutia that you're like, I don't even know. Am I breathing properly? Like, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> am I good at this at all? Like, I don't know what is happening. It can really just like, you feel like you're underwater. You're like, somebody yes. throw me a lifeline. Like, I don't know what I'm doing Everything anymore. you just said. Yeah, it's really it's resonated. It's, yeah. It can it's, be rough. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, yeah, but I, this turn, this is going to be a thing. They're bitter, blah, 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 blah. I'm, well, yeah, I'm not totally that. not bitter though. I'm so glad I experienced it. Yeah, And like good for those that do well in that in that place. 100%. Like, great. Awesome. Like that's, you know, that's so good. And you but. know, it is, it's such a difference too because, you know, the people that thrive in W, and, and there's people that can thrive in WWE and they can also thrive outside of WWE. But there's some people that like, that formula works for them yeah. and it's great it's great um how like how do you prefer obviously you prefer to not work like that but to now be able to be more in the driver's seat of what your matches are like what your promos are like to not have to wait for you know creative necessarily to come and say hey here's what you have here's your segment blah 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 i guess i just i'm one of those guys that prefers like i don't know was I on the indies too long or something? And now I just like, <laughs> I got too used to having all, I don't, I don't know. I yeah. have no idea. Um, I, yeah, I, I, I don't know if it's that. I just, um, oh God. See, this is yeah. what I meant about like, it's hard to convey. I know. To, yeah. yeah. Well, hey, screw it. We'll move on to the next thing. <laughs> AEW, when you debuted, what was that day like? We started uh, to get into it and then we got into WWE was, things instead. Yeah, it was, um, it was crazy and it totally like, I've loved it so far. I'm like a pig in shit <laughs> in, in AEW. Oh, get that like, shit I just, me. I don't know. There's something about the place that I just, it, I, I, fit, I, I feel like I fit right in. Yeah. So that, that, I don't know. I, I just feel like um, I'm going to do better there. Yeah. 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 Then 100%. I don't, maybe I just didn't fit into, maybe it wasn't WWE. It was just me. I mean, listen, there's the, there's the, the square peg round hole trying to like, you try to make something work. And yeah. honestly, like I do applaud you for not continuing to do something just because you feel like this is a thing I'm supposed to be doing. And regardless of whether it's making me happy or not, because sometimes it takes people a longer time to realize that they're unhappy because you just feel like I shouldn't yeah. be ungrateful. I should be so happy for the things yeah. that I want and for the things that I have. And these are amazing opportunities and amazing experiences, yeah. but sometimes it's just not fucking for everybody. There's no point in me wasting their time. Yeah. You know, like yep. if I'm just not fitted for this, this company, then screw it. Yeah. We'll just, then don't have me here. Give it to someone that's better. Yeah, of course. You know, whatever. I'll just go and do my thing somewhere else. And thank God I did because yeah. I feel like I'm doing better than ever. Yeah. And I feel so happy. And so. Um, I love that. You know, I, I'm really feeling like I'm maturing and I'm, and this has been a really this is just what I was supposed to do. Yeah. It was just, um, it was, yeah. You can't put a price tag on have, having that freedom and just feeling like yourself. It's f-ing weird when you don't feel like yourself. <sighs> weird. It's yeah. really rough. It's really, really rough. I feel rough. really good now. I, uh, I'm just, 
I'm doing my thing and I'm, yeah. Hell I'm, yeah. I'm getting out of that funk <laughs> and yeah, I, I, I really feel like, um, yeah. You're where you're supposed to be. Yes. Doing what you're supposed yeah. to be doing. Yeah. Let's talk a little OnlyFans. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get into the OnlyFans. Yes. Um, were you blown away with how this took off and just seeing the money rolling in and people want, I mean, people it's, want to see a little more. I, it's always like, storm. I, people think that I quit to do OnlyFans, which wasn't the case because I didn't know that. I mean, I knew about it, but I mm -hmm. didn't know what it entailed, what it actually. Sure was how much money was to be made on it. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of fell into it. And I had some friends help me out. And thank God I quit and I did that. And I, I like, thank God, because this well, is Well, created like, this instant buzz too, where people are like, oh, wow. It's awesome. Excuse it's me? awesome. Like, to be honest, quitting was better for me, not just mentally, but financially. Yeah. It was, it's a way better thing. Because now, like, I can have my, my OnlyFans and that's all mine yeah and i'm in control of all of that um whereas you can't have that in wwe yeah which kind of sucks um yeah. and i have that and i can also do AEW. and you know people thought i quit because i was burnt out but like no now i've got two jobs yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how much work is it doing only fans like what goes into that what's like so i mean my education on OnlyFans is like, okay, you, you subscribe to it, you get ex exclusive photos, blah, blah, blah. Great. But from your side of it, what does that look like for you on like the business side of your OnlyFans? Um, it's a lot of photo shoots. Yeah. It's um, content. Like I can't believe how much content you just go through because I post a picture every single day. So that's a lot of sets. <laughs> yeah. A lot of a lot of costumes, a lot of lingerie, a lot of swimsuits. That's oh a lot. Yeah, um, your drawers must be a shit show. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. like the whole house is just like <laughs> Victoria's Secret. <laughs> That's great. It's great. Um, but you know what? I have so much fun, and I'm like really channeling this creative side. Yeah. To, yeah. That um, I didn't have before. I, I didn't know what it was like would really entail, but um, but I'm loving it. I get, yeah. I get so creative. I, I, I feel really, um, it's making me feel confident and stuff. And it's a great way for yeah. my fans to like get into my life and see, yeah. like, you know, who get to know me a little bit. Yeah. And they, you know, they can message me and interact with me. And I think it's a really good thing. And it's great for women that we get to have that. One Hundred percent. So good for Thank you to God be in the driver's seat and to make money off of it, and it's done on entirely your own terms. Yeah, it really is. I mean, I can imagine the confidence that comes from that, and, I, and like, the creativity yeah, as well. Everything that I post is like completely up to me, and yeah. I love. I, yeah. It, What's the line? Do you have a line of what you of where the the line is drawn in the sand of what you will or will not do? So I, I mean, I don't do like full frontal nudity. I don't do, like, people think, uh, I had someone think that I was just straight up doing porn on them. I'm like, no, 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 no. not quite. <laughs> um, but I do, like- Charge a lot yeah. more money for that, sure. Got a little bit extra for that. Um, <laughs> um, but I do, I do some pretty risque photo shoots, like a lot of implied nudity yeah. and stuff like that. Uh, but I like, I try to keep it as classy as possible. Yeah. You know, and I feel beautiful doing it, to be honest. Good. I think it's a really empowering thing. I love um, that. I, yeah, I really have fun. That makes me really happy. I love that. And like I, get, I can feel that it yeah. makes you happy. Like it I, seems I, it like it's, yeah. yeah. Um, when you were putting this together, what were your conversations um, with? Is, are you guys married? Or we're married. You yeah. are married. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. John and I were talking about that the other day. He's like, are they married yet? I'm like, I think so. Because there's stuff that says Robinson on it. So I, after I quit WWE, like I went really quiet for a bit. And it was obviously a very, you know, a weird time. So we were kind of like, should we just get married? Like, yeah. things are already kind of strange right now. So we should probably just get married. So we did. And like, you know, the office. How did you guys do it? Oh, you went to like the courthouse? Yeah. Yeah. We weren't, uh, we we were going to have like a big wedding and we then we made the guest list and went, oh my God, that's like so much work. Oh my God. Let's just get married. I could not imagine. So John and I did something very similar when we were living in Vegas. We're like, let's just do it. It was like two in the morning. We're like, let's just do it now. <laughs> we did it in our backyard. We called a pastor off Yelp that could come yes. and do it. And we we're like, it cost us 500 bucks, including the tip. 
Done and done. Easy, easy. The best. So much better. I love that. Yeah. Those are the best because I just didn't want to do it. It's just with for you. Yes. yes. It's stressful. And then it's like, it's a really special moment just for you guys. Like, yes, of course, in a perfect world, it would be nice to have our family there and yeah. all those nice things. Sure. But, but also, also like, like <laughs> no life. <laughs> Walking down the aisle to music in a costume is what I do for a living. And I do not oh, need my <laughs> mother and like everyone around watching me do that. Awkward Did you guys shit. do like a first dance though? Did you guys have a little moment? Well, so what's we, like your song? Well, we, <laughs> I have so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had the what? We did it like ten o'clock in the morning, and we were like, we were giggling. You know, we 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 were, we were having a great time. It was just me and him. We don't even have to have witnesses in Florida. It turns out, mm. so we just went down the. That's you know, nice. The county clerk, and um, we left the marriage license in the car, and oh. you know that was hilarious. And we were like queued up to get married. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> like, hold on, we gotta run to the car. <laughs> One sec. It was, you know, you go and like, I'm, you know, we're doing our vows next to a filing cabinet. You know, it's yeah, romance. totally, you know, romance. But then <laughs> after that, we we um we just hung out for the day in our house, yeah, with our dog. And uh, we just had the best day ever because it was just us. I and love it's never that. just us. So when we get time alone, we're like, soak <sighs> it up. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. It's funny. I feel I so feel the same way when we did ours. I was like, I love that it was like just us yeah. and we like. Had to consummate it in the f-ing closet because yeah. the dog was jumping. On- <laughs> it was a whole situation. Um, how did you guys meet? Because I oh. remember seeing this like pop up on either your Instagram or his Instagram. And I was like, hold on. <laughs> I love this. What is like your guys' origin story? So, uh, okay. It's so complicated. The first time I ever met him was uh, 2015. He had just left WWE. Uh-huh. Very similar people. <laughs> um, and he was in England doing All Star um, and they're like summer camps and you wrestle sometimes twice a day at Butlins and stuff like that. And I met him, like you meet at this big house and everyone meets up and you go and do your like show loop, whether it's okay. in Blackpool or Wales or yeah, all over, all over the UK. And I met him very briefly at that house. It was just like, hi, I was 19. I was like, hey. You know? <laughs> Hey, what's up? Hi. Yeah, I didn't, you know, <laughs> and like, I didn't really think anything of it. I just knew that I'd met him. And yeah. then I started doing stardom in Japan and I was out there a lot. And then in 2017, I, like, I would just see him here and there. I would see him, um, like, because, you know, New Japan and stardom, and like, yeah, you, sometimes you're all at the same events, you bump into each other mm-hmm. and here and there, we, we would end up at the same dinner parties and like we would have a few drinks together here and there. And then like, I just always thought he was the coolest guy. Yeah. And I don't know why, like nothing happened for you. Like we were just like, so, it was so innocent and like, oh, hi. I would just, I, would, I, would, I know I would, I would always like, if someone mentioned him, I'd be like, oh, I love him. He's so yeah. cool. And I thought he was so sweet and and just so like charming. And I don't, I like nothing ever happened until, um, like we we hung out a couple of times in Japan. He took me out on a date in Harajuku. Oh, no. and and like, but then again, like I went back to England for and, and was do I was doing my thing and and he was doing his and life was so chaotic for both of us because we've both lived very fast paced lives. Yeah, in Japan and 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 everything. And then the pandemic hit and he just texted me out of the blue when I was living completely alone. I was just like I hadn't seen anyone for a month. You know, I was yeah. Just like, you know, I, I was nothing much was going on, and he just texted me out the blue, and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> oh, cheers, Robinson. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, we haven't stopped talking ever since. I got married. Oh, yeah. that's so sweet. Such good times. That's the best. Yeah. And when I got stuck, what a great actually, pair. When I got stuck trying to move over from England to the States, I was living in London for a while. I got stuck out there, stranded. Yeah. And he like randomly turned up and surprised me. He was able to get from America to the UK and be with me for a while. When oh, I was, yeah. buddy. So our relationship got started very strangely, like over yeah. the phone. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? John and I were almost like that too for a while. Like we, I mean, we would see each other on the road and we would like hang out like at the building and stuff a little bit here and there. And then, yeah, we would talk and talk and talk and talk. And I'm like, yeah. oh my God, wait, do I love this person? Oh shit. Oh no. Yeah. Now we're like married, have a baby, dog, blah, blah, That's blah. All best. of these things. Yeah. But it is. It's you just a baby. the best. Yeah. It's so, so great. When did you know that you were in love with him? Oh, as soon as he texted me. <laughs> 
soon as he texted me out the blue. Well, I mean, I a always thump, thought thump. he was. The, I mean, I thought we had just lost contact. I like he changes his number a lot, and so, <laughs> but um, he like I guess he kept mine. A random number popped up, and it was him. I was like, oh yay! You, you know, like, I like you. Ah, that's so. <laughs> he's great. cool. Yeah, and he's just um, he's changed my entire life. Yeah, he's made me such a better human being. Because <laughs> I was just a, a kid bouncing around the world, like, you know, wrestling and, and being crazy. And, and like, he's been the same. He's, yeah. he's a wild man. But he then, is a wild man, yeah. So, like, people, I feel like people think we're like this crazy Florida couple, just maniacs. <laughs> but we don't even drink alcohol. We just sit out, like, around our backyard with our dog. And, yeah. And like we're just the most boring people. We really have. I feel like we Sounds have a good magical. effect on each other. I yeah. love that. He's he's just like he's the best. I actually love just being boring with somebody. Like John and I are like very like we had we had our heyday. We had our time when we're on <laughs> yeah. the road and we're like having you all that time together. Yeah. Now we're like we're we're both looking at our clocks, being like, okay, it's like nine thirty. It's close enough. Oh we can start God. going to bed now. This is great. Let's shut it down. Like. <laughs> It's the best. That's what's happening to us. We sit and so read our quick. books in bed. It's great. Yeah. We're, we're all into home improvements now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. you should see us when it comes down to like sorting out the patio. It's crazy. <laughs> like we're, yeah, it's the best. It's like, he's my best friend. He's yeah. my partner. We, um, yeah, we're the Robinsons. You guys are the Robinsons. We're the Robinsons. And I love everything that he's doing in New Japan right oh, now he's too. Killing it's it. really great. He's absolutely killing he it. He looks he's, like a million bucks He's too. the best I've ever seen him. Yeah. And, and we just- we try to really take care of each other and, yeah. and we train together and he really teaches me and helps me with wrestling as well. Like yeah. He's, he's just had such a good, like such a good effect on my life. A lot of people, he, like everyone loves him as well. Everyone's always saying. I don't think I've ever heard anybody say a bad word Never. about that guy. Yeah. Ever. He's, just, he's not got a bad bone in his body. He's yeah. such a good human being. Oh, you know what? I could talk a little shit on him. <laughs> we, well, I mean, there's always something. <laughs> My so such I. like a random little story though. When, when I was in Japan with John and we all went out to go do karaoke afterwards. <laughs> and it's me, karaoke. John and Juice in an elevator. I feel like somebody else was with us too. Jay White was there, but he was not in the <laughs> elevator. So we're all in the elevator, which is really, really tiny. And he goes, imagine it got stopped and we all got stuck in here. And I'm like, <gasps> that is like my nightmare. We literally get off. I'm like, John, I need to go stand outside for a second. Like, I think I'm having a panic attack. <laughs> Seriously. He totally freaked me out that I was like, if I'm stuck in here staring at both <laughs> of your guys' faces like this close to me, like I'm going to lose my mind. So thank he's a you, crazy Juice, man. The, like uh, as much as he's a sweet anxiety. boy, he's like, <laughs> he, he has, he does a lot of jokes. Oh my God. He thinks he's very funny. He is very funny, he's but funny. like yeah. he thinks he's very, very funny. <laughs> so him and John are buddies are both like that. Yeah. Losers. <laughs> you losers. Crazy man. <laughs> um, let's talk about when uh, you came out as bisexual on the NXT's, um, you did it on their Instagram yeah. page or an Instagram story. They were doing a pride thing, yeah. This is such a public way to come out like that. What was, like, what was that all? What, did you, were you like processing in the sense that it was going to be this big thing on a big platform? Or was it just like, you know what? Fuck it, let's just, let's just do this. Um, I mean, again, another weird ordeal. <laughs> um, I, yeah, they had, they, they had me on for the pride thing. Yeah. And then I was just like, they are, I don't know. I don't know how it came up. I think I was joking about like, oh, well, I'm bisexual cause I am. So I'll just, what should I announce it? Is that like, should I do that? Is that what we have to do? I don't <laughs> is know. Is that what this assignment is I was right just now? talking. I was just yeah. blabbing on and then they were like, like, it would be really good. Like if you want to, you can like announce, like, so, like it would be people would probably really like that. And, yeah. and I was just like, oh yeah, sure. Like it's, it's okay. I'm not, it's no harm in being open about stuff. No. Might, might encourage other people to be open about stuff. Sure. Might make them feel better. I don't know. So there was so, no like real thought of like, this is going to be my moment. I'm going to do this. It was just a very no, casual like, like, yeah, shit, let's put it I'm out there. I'm pretty open yeah. about a lot of stuff. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah. Yeah. It's an easier way to be, right? Yeah. I, I'm really not like one of those, it's like, oh, no, I don't think. I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm an open book. I'm I love that. Out. Put it all out there. Yeah. I mean, nothing know. much phases me anymore, to be honest. I've had a nude leak. I've had videos. You know, now I'm oh just Oh, God. Kind of, what is that like, having a nude I, leak? I mean, that was the shits. But again, now that I do OnlyFans and I do that with my, like, Sure. Again, you're in control. It, I, feel in, I, I feel like even doing, starting an OnlyFans has weirdly helped. 
that. Yeah. yeah. Because there's a great deal of difference between wanting to share that kind of thing yeah. and or then, you know, being having it taken from me and publicized. And, yeah. and that was the shits when that all happened. It, it totally sucked. It broke me down. But like now I feel like I've built myself back up and then some because... You know, it's like, what are you going to do? And it's like, Subscribe to my OnlyFans now if you want to see a new, I leak my own news yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leak the good ones. Yeah. I'll give you like the good stuff. And it's, yeah, it's all come full circle. I feel yeah. way better about that. And I, <laughs> yeah, it's just like, it was well, you know, it's, I mean, I, I, I can't, I mean, I've not been in a situation like that, but it is that thing where it's like, it's actually pretty like, I'm sure when you're in it, it's like, oh my God, what's happened? What's going on? What do you mean? But uh, I feel like the world moves so fast. And it's like, oh, yeah, that thing happened. And like, eh, all right, well. Yeah. It was old news, like, yeah. after a bit. And yeah. Like, yeah. People try to, like, mock me for it and stuff, like, with, like, fans and stuff. Still? Like, Do you think I actually give a shit at all so anymore? So weird. About this stuff. Like, people try to use it, I guess, to kind of bully you. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I just don't care. Yeah. Like, fine people are so weird like that they get yeah. like a little nugget and they're like this is the thing i'm gonna keep picking yeah. at. it's like a little scab or it's, it's like, just bored off. people yeah it's just bored people yeah. in their basements yeah bored um speaking of people in their basements <laughs> bored <laughs> you don't have a twitter account yeah is this why because yeah. of these like people that are bored in their i basement? just feel like there's too many uneducated opinions yeah and uh and people listen and like yeah. like and read and I'm it's just so toxic and it, I feel like it just drags and time consuming. I feel like I get way much more shit done now that yes. I I don't have Twitter, I don't drink alcohol, and I don't work for WWE. So I'm like just feeling free like lady, I'm f- killing it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to put that. I just like I just I everything that I didn't like, yeah. I just got rid of. And I encourage you all to do the same. I just, just anything bothering you, just get rid of it as quick yeah. as you can. I mean, <laughs> very sound advice though, but yeah. it's hard. It is hard to do that because I know as much as like, like even like today, I, I was like, oh my God, I think my Instagram account's being hacked. And in my mm. head, I'm like, okay, what does this mean? Uh, is like, can I not have access to this anymore? Blah, blah, blah. But then I like, I was like, oh, I just can't use this right now. Great. I didn't even realize yeah. how much I mindlessly would just like open and refresh and scroll. And I'm Seriously. like, holy shit. Yeah. Do something else I've, with your life. I, I really try. Oh, no, I don't try. I avoid social media, to be honest. Yeah. I, I just, it's just too much. It's, it's like lot. way too many voices saying way too many stupid, yeah. stupid <laughs> things. And we like a- agree with it because it's yeah. on Twitter. Yeah. And I just don't, there's something about that that kind of freaks me out. And yeah. Uh, yeah, and, and and you hear about how just depressed people get after no. what like strangers say. I'm like, who are these people? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Who is this at John4296 <laughs> talking shit? I don't f- care. John4296 right like, now. It's like, oh my God. Exactly. It's like Me. after like 12, 13 years of taking yeah. bumps on my neck, I don't give a shit what people have, like if they don't think that I had a good match. Because chances are, I probably don't think I had a good match either. Right. And people are like burying me on the internet. I don't need that because I've already got voices in my head telling me all the same negative shit. Yep. And there's just enough negativity each, like for everyone. And right. we don't need it to yeah. like keep being spread around. And, and it just doesn't manifest much positivity. I don't know. Ugh, think. you're so right. Honestly, am I the Dalai Lama? About that? Am I Tony Robbins? Tony Robinson? Tony <laughs> Robbins? <laughs> I'm going to have my no, own show. It's shows. true, though. It's really like that really resonates with me when it's like, and that's the thing that I think f- with us. Cause like if somebody is saying something mean to me and they're picking a thing that I already know, it's like, listen, yeah. I don't need you to jump on it. I'm already on myself. Like, I got, yeah. I got it. Exactly. I don't need you to tell me yeah, uh, that this is the shit. I don't need as well. people telling me my selling isn't good enough. Oh I don't God. care. Yeah. What <laughs> these like people on the keyboards have to say, I'm going to listen to people that are yeah. educated in that department yes. as to like, what my work is. You know, yeah. in regards to my work, I'm going to go to people that know what they're talking about. Who are the people that you go to um, for advice or people that you kind of lean on for matches and wrestling and all that? I mean, my, my quick go to is obviously my husband because he's there. Very, yeah. very convenient right there. <laughs> um, but the, I, there's a great crew at AEW uh, that's helping me out a lot. Um, and you know, you know, I just, oh, who who else do I go to? Oh, William Regal's a good one to go love to. Love me some William Regal. I love me some William Regal. Um, I, I know that I can go to him if I need help and stuff. He's, um, like, since NXT UK and stuff, he's yeah. really been someone that I've, um, 
who's helped me yeah. so much. Beautiful. Yeah. And yeah. We and love uh, them. there's so many um, and uh, that I've got, you know, helping me, making sure I, you know, and I'm going to go to those people before I'm going to listen to Twitter. Yes. Because I just like, and, and also wrestling is an art. It's subjective. Therefore, like these yeah. opinions don't mean shit. Do you like it or do you not? Buy a ticket. Enjoy the show. If you don't yeah. enjoy it, oh, I'm so, so sorry. Don't watch me then, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's what I've just always been yes. trying to say. Yeah. It's like, what, oh, you don't agree that I quit WWE? Well, then don't watch it. Don't, yeah. Like, well, then you go. You do you it. You go do it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah here's, here, here's the keys. You yeah. go do it. <laughs> you go do it. Yeah. Go have fun. <laughs> um, <laughs> we've got free young Tony doing her thing. What's your dream match right now? Oh, there's so many. Because just… Uh, like uh, the women's division, I think is stacked. There's so many good women there. Uh, that Chris Statlander, oh yeah, incredible. If anyone's seen her work, <laughs> amazing. Yeah. Um, the God Serena Deeb is at AEW. Yeah. The women's division is incredible. Yeah. Um, the uh, Riho, uh, Japanese girl, mm-hmm. amazing. Yeah. Uh, I I briefly uh, wrestled Sheeta when I was 17 months once in a oh really match. randomly when, oh yeah, wow randomly I would like to get in there with her again. Yeah. There's so many. Uh, there's no one that I wouldn't yeah want to work with. Yeah. Um. Dog, yeah, just like such, so much potential, such so a bright many future for the AEW women's division. Certainly. I believe in it. I no. believe it's going to skyrocket. 100% skyrocket. as, as uh, yeah, that's right. Skyrocket, <laughs> take off. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> uh, but no, it's true. I mean, as, as more people uh, are a part of AEW and it continually is growing and expanding, I, th- I think the, the women's division there is only getting stronger and stronger and you guys are crushing it. There's a lot of passionate women. There's yeah. a lot of women that are like, not going to take no for an answer. Getting yeah, out, yeah, um, and I feel like I'm a part of something special. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Tony, I'm so excited that we got to do this. In person. Yay, we finally got to do it. We did it. <laughs> you are the best. I'm. I'm just. I'm really happy that you are where you are doing the things that you're supposed to be doing. It's nice. really. It's actually like pumps me up to see someone just go. You know what? This is actually not serving me, so I'm going to ditch it. And it's yeah. really cool to see. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's what it's about. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah.